just saying. <笑>でも私の名誉のために言わせてもらうけど遺産目当てだったならこんな変な殺人はしないわよだって遺産相続権を喪失させるだけならどんな死に方だって構わないけどはい Stop. Oh, God, you're fucking insane. But see, she's not even saying that I wouldn't kill for an inheritance. It's that I would make it look like it wasn't murder. God, she's terrible. Because also, if she's after the inheritance, she has to also prove that there is no one else to take the inheritance and is above her. So the bodies would have to be found eventually. Oh, I feel so bad for you. Aneva shrugged with a bitter smile. It was just as easy to suspect on Ava as it was to, to suspect the servants. So if we spin the chessboard around, does that make it impossible for the culprit to be her, suspicious as she is? However, if that sort of argument always works, then motive can never help us in any way. No, that can't be right. Knowing the motive must give us a powerful clue, must give us powerful clues towards knowing the culprit. That's why murders from all time periods disguise crimes in complicated ways, cleverly pretending their motives from being discovered. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Every time I spin the chessboard around, it keeps flipping fr from front to back to and back to front. Are my thoughts beginning bringing me closer to the truth? Or are they? I didn't walk, want to talk any more than that, <clears throat> so I folded my arms and headed to the window to cool my head a little. As I looked out of the par over the parlor, I saw George and the others gather talking. It looked like they were talking about the magic circle that had been painted onto the shutter. As Uncle Hideyoshi thought back to that time, he started drawing the shape in the margins of Maria's notebook. I see, since Maria was second only to grandfather in knowledge of the occult, she might be a she might understand what it meant. Hmm, Let me guess what she's gonna say. It's a summoning thing for Beatrice. Yeah, of course it is. So she didn't want to get なんか書かれていたんや。あれはよく言う古代文字とかいうやつや。あと、演習部の頂点に小さなマークがありましたな。小さな丸を5つ十字状に並べ、それぞれを直線で結んだようなマークでした。ああ、確かにそんなのも書
Of course, if you were searching for a link connecting the Ushirumiya family to the occult, 10 out of 10 people would think of grandfather. Also, to a person who knew nothing of an occult, this strange mark would have no meaning. Which meant that this might have been something addressed to grandfather. That's right, the reason the crime was shown to the survivors was so they'll find this. In that case, where did grandfather, the essential recipient of this message, disappeared off to? Thanks. Maria looked at the shape with a serious face. Maybe she was enthusiastic because this was her area of expertise. However, her appearance was, one, was that of someone separated from the events at hand, as though this thing hadn't been drawn on the shutter closed around her mother's corpse. That's what I saw. It looked like the Iron Cross. Oh, let me guess, Beatrice is from Germany. Yeah, either that or a literal German meaning. When I looked over at all of them, prepared to jump, preparing to jump into the discussion, something shocked me. Maria was smiling, an eerie and incomprehensible expression on her face. God, I want to fucking throw her in a fire! Oh my god, she's crazy! It was almost as if she was making fun of everyone's ignorance. Oh my god, that's creepy. It was an expression I wouldn't have dreamed to find on Maria's face. Okay, that's even more crazy. Oh my god, I don't want to be near her. Rosa, can you please smack your fucking child? <laughs> because now she's getting creepier and creepier. And she laughed. That eerie, jarring laugh was something I didn't want to believe was possible. Even though I was looking at it right in front of my eyes. <laughs> kill it. Fucking kill her. Right then and there, I... Break her fucking neck, kill her. Oh my god, no. <laughs> nope, I don't care. Kill her. But just straight up, I end her. No. That's some fucking demonic shit right there. No. <laughs> While everyone was busy being scared out of their wits, Maria kept on cackling happily by herself. <laughs> That's where I just pull out and I'm just gonna fucking gut her right here and there. Stab her. Ah, uh, it's better. After a while, that laugh was suddenly and abruptly cut off. But her expression still looked like it belonged to someone completely different from Maria. I don't want to be anywhere near her anymore. Of course it is. Oh, what the fuck? Why? No, thank you. Maria stole the writing materials from the stunned Hideyoshi's hand. She then started drawing another magic circle with the rustle right next to the one Hideyoshi had drawn. God, she's fucking crazy. Sure. Incredible is not the word I'd be using here. Creepy as shit is the word I'd be well words I'd be using. She's crazy. Don't beat it. Jessica tried to smooth things over by praising Maria. It didn't work. Maybe she wanted to confirm that this was still the Maria we all knew so well. But Maria didn't answer her in any particular way for in particular. Maria began swiftly writing unfamiliar characters in the corner of the sh corners of the shape. When Uncle Hideyoshi and Dr. Nandre saw them, their eyes immediately began to open wide. Oh my fucking god, like, I, I killed this child, she's crazy. 
Pa san, Arel, Folurak, so she t a r i a h a d I hope I don't have to remember any of those names or even begin to start pronouncing them. Holy shit. So she t a n a m e she won't even young by the old that's not a Ariel, Seraf, Tarsis, Kerb. What the fuck? What are these names? Sure. Even if they hadn't been able to correctly write what they'd seen, when they were once again shown something identical, it wasn't difficult for them, them to realize the two were the same. When Maria asked them whether it matched, Uncle Hideyoshi and Dr. Nanjo nodded over and over again. あと演習文にも文字が書かれておりましたわかってるよ<笑>こうでしょ God, she's terrifying.、Uh, I've never been this scared of a little girl before. Oh, God. Maria quickly began to surround the circumference with more Hebrew writing. 旧約聖書の詩編第116編の16節と17節だよ。Oh, damn, I just forgot those. What the? Come on. I didn't memorize it? Holy fuck! Yeah, let, sure, give me one second as I quote it word for word. Get the fuck out of here. She's fucking insane. Acting as though nothing. Knowing this was only common sense, Maria laughed. For a while, everyone, including me, was at a loss for words. A little later, George returned to his senses and slowly managed to speak. Well, no, what is the fucking 16th and 17th psalm in? What is it? Verse in that psalm. What is it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna go etch this into that gold bar up there and wear it as a fucking medallion. Talisman. Okay. The bonds of faith? There you go. しかしさっぱりわからん。それとあの6人の遺体とどんな関係があるっちゅうんや。束縛から6人のために魔法人が描かれてるわけじゃないね。魔法人のために6人はそこにいるんでしょ。はあ。お気の毒だよ。<笑
She's not cute. She is terrifying. If what Maria had just read aloud was a vital part of the magic circle, then it was saying that the sacrifices ha had to be offered in order for this magic circle to be effective. So human sacrifices had been offered inside the storehouse, where the magic circle had been drawn. A heartbeat later, everyone else seemed to reach the same conclusion. Some people were shocked and others spat out that, that this was insane as they punched their knees. This was something starting to get incredibly disturbing. And we couldn't accept it or understand it. I don't care what kind of magic, circles or curses some other, other people believe in, I won't pick a fight with them. But did they really kill Dad and the rest of sacrifices for crap like that? I can't, I just couldn't stand for that feeling. Compared to this, I preferred it when we were still disgusted by the fear that about the fight over the inheritance. As I started getting pissed off with the feeling between anger and sadness, I broke from the circle everyone was in and returned me once again to the window. Something had gone insane since yesterday. There was that letter from the witch Beatrice that Maria had read aloud at last night's dinner. Ever since that point, it feels like we've... No, like this whole mansion and this whole island has been getting more and more firmly locked inside some kind of bizarre world. That's right. When I think back on it, the letter was an invitation from the witch, the ruler of the nighttime island that had invited us inhabitants of the day into another world. The phone and the radio had been interrupted and the island was shut off by the typhoon. So you really could call this place another world cut off from the real one by now. Yeah, as this, as this island is now, it's perfectly normal for a witch to send us letters and for human sacrifices to be offered up for the sake of magic circles. So what will happen next? Will some weird people wearing goat masks start doing the Bond Festival dance or something? Don't even fucking suggest it because it probably will happen. Ah, it's hopeless, it's hopeless, I don't get it. The inside of my head's all screwed up and I don't even know what to think. Anger, sadness, the opposing emotions all swirled up together and they started to suck me in. Unable to resist, I could do nothing but cover my ear, eyes with my hands and trust to my and trust to my mind and body as I started getting sucked in. As I started losing heart, I began to recall a memory from when I was small. It was from when I was very young. I had unfortunately seen a scary occult movie on TV, and for a while I hadn't even been able to go to the bathroom by myself. That old bastard gave an exaggerated laugh and said this. だから俺はオカルト映画なんてちゃんちゃらおかしくて笑っちまうってんだ。俺に言わせりゃ、悪魔やら妖怪やらより今年度の終止報告や機嫌を悪くした女房の方が一億倍も超えってもんだぜ。さらに言うぜ。俺に言わせりゃな。怖がるってのは心と生活にゆとりのある連中の娯楽的感情なのさ。暇で暇でしょうがないから。連中は変わった感情で心を遊ばせたくて悪魔だの、オカルトだのって文
最善手は限られてくるのよだから自分が追い詰めているあるいは追い詰められているというその時両者の手は限りなく読みやすくなるのよつまり完全に追い詰められて打つ手なしって思ったその時こそ最も読みやすい瞬間なのよでも主勢に立った人間はどうしても考えが固くなって相手の手を読むことにまで考えが至らないそういう時はねチェス盤をひっくり返すの。With all my strength, I slapped my face with both hands. Now my eyes were truly open. When you don't understand anything and you're completely cornered just like I am now, isn't that the perfect time to spend the chess board in our Well, on the defensive, we could, can't even guess at the culprit's scheme. If we spin it around and looked at it that way, just what might we see? First off, at the time the, the culprit committed the murders, they knew the island was being cut off by the typhoon. Therefore, they should have understood that even if they carried out the murders, they wouldn't be able to get away early the next morning. In short, the culprit had begun with securing a way to escape. Furthermore, that bastard tossed the corpses in the storehouse. Then it was even kind enough to say, Here they are, with that weird bit of graffiti. In other words, since they, we'd probably find the corpses sooner or later, they wanted to show them to us. If we'd all been dim and hadn't noticed the storage shed, the culprit's goal would have not have been achieved, would it? <laughs> If you think about it this way, that bastard of a culprit. Since this morning, must they must have been watching our every move with bated breath. After all, if we hadn't been so kind as, as discovered what was in the storehouse, all of that hard work and preparation they did last night would have just gone poof. What did the culprit want to make us feel by showing us the corpses in the storehouse? All six of the bodies had their faces noticeably destroyed. Was it a grudge? A warning? The defacement of the bodies had occurred after death. So it hadn't been the mean it hadn't been the the means by which the culprit had killed. It didn't mean anything to those who had been killed. It did have the meaning to those who found the bodies. The culprit wanted to make it appear that they had been so, killed so brutally. Huh. After thinking this way, I really want to tell that bastard to stop thinking, taking me, talking, taking me so lightly. Who just danced to that tune? If you're told, please be scared, you can't just say, really? Sure thing. When someone tells the great Ushirumi, a battler, the entrance is right there, it's right here, I'm the kind of guy who'll start wanting to sneak in through the window. The next thing had, that had me concerned was that so-called magic circle on the shutter. As Maria, who had shown that her knowledge of the occult rival grandfathers, had recognized that the magic circle was genuine. They must have drawn that thing in pitch black darkness, taking a lot of time and holding an umbrella in one hand. Isn't that amount of hard work a uh, perfectionism impressive? What purpose would have been worth all of that effort? to throw off anyone and speculate. If we were looking for a fan of the occult in the mansion, most likely all of us would naturally suspect Grandfather. They want to make us think Grandfather was involved. But that's all they wanted. They could have just drawn any old scribble that looked like a magic circle. It wasn't like any of us amateurs would be able to tell the difference between genuine and fake, unless they knew Maria would have been able to tell the difference. However, this magic circle is genuine, and furthermore, it, it had even been written in Hebrew. So this magic circle had a message that could only be understood by someone with the knowledge of the occult. A message is a form of communication. By sending it, they were hoping for a reaction. A reaction. For some reason, we couldn't find Grandfather. Now. I don't know how Grandfather might have spotted the mag magic circle on the sh shutter. But did he choose to hide himself in reaction to that? No. Was it a trap to make us suspect that Grandfather had participated? You could read it either way. Damn, that's annoying. What kind of reaction was the culprit hoping to get out of us by putting on this occult show? 
Somehow that felt like the culprit's weak point. The letter from Beatrice that Maria had read aloud during last night's dinner sprang back into my mind. This was a freak who'd asked us to join a battle of wits. Isn't that interesting? This is a battle of wits between us and the witch. Will we be sucked up by our occult game first? Or will we put a, pull off her fake skin first? That's a whole day with that until the pa there's a whole day until the ta typhoon passes. Why not enjoy ourselves? I finally noticed that the inside of the parlor had gone quiet again. Everyone had sunk into their favorite sofa, some deep in thought, some irritated, some acting depressed. Maria was once again enjoying the TV as if she'd never left it. It looked like she found the commercials more fun and the bore the boring pro then the boring program, she happily happily ye yelled you ooh ooh and giggled. I stared at each person's appearance in turn. If there isn't a nineteenth person, the culprit must be in this room. It's not Jessica, I'd I, I would, I would pay money, or at least I'll bet all of my money that it is not Jessica, because that's just ridiculous to even think that it is. Right now, ought not to be searching the mansion with the servants, right? Then we shouldn't say in this room. In this mansion is where the culprit has to be. After all, it's possible Aunt Natsui was behind this, and we still can't deny that one of the servants might be the killer. Anyone could be guilty. Still, Aunt Natsui and the rest sure are taking their time. Of course, it's not a small mansion, but it isn't this taking a little too long just to walk around checking the windows and doors. Just as I was thinking this, Aunt Natsui and the rest returned. Not one of them was missing. But our relief was short-lived. Everyone looked at Na Aunt Natsui in shock. The talk I'd have with a on Ava started to creep back into my mind. The possibility that the culprits had enough in numbers or weapons to kill all of us at, of those six at once. Oh yeah, fuck that shit. Nope. Uh, bye. I'm going to the guest house. Have a nice day. Nope. Bye. No, thank you. After all. That thing in Natui's hand was a rifle. Good god, no thank you. It's a really short rifle, but you know. Whatever. At a glance, it still well looked like a hunting gun. Mm, not really. But it was unusually short and kind of looked like a kid-sized weapon. Yeah, that's a little better. However, it had a weightiness to it that made it clear it was no kid's toy. <laughs> ご存知でしたか。そうです。お父様の古いコレクションの中にあったことを思い出し、探し出してきました。It's fucking terrifying. ふう。すっげえ。夏よばさん。それ本物なんすか? No, it's fake. What the fuck do you think? ええ、本物です。実弾は発砲できますよ。Oh god. 昔お父様は yeah, fucking birds. <laughs> now she's gonna use it to scare away wild children. Holy fuck, no thank you. Please go away. <laughs>